this one. Put it right here. This is here. So the master branch. The master branch. And she create build build project. Okay. Create build project. Next step we will we will create our deployment application. So the code deploy and we will issue then we create our application so actually in order to create a new deployment you must first create a deployment group so let us create the deployment group where we will target our ec2 instance that we have created earlier we will see this later on so my development my development group and for a role, this I have already created a role. So, so to allow code deploy to run some commands on our EC2 instance, we should give them give give it a role that will have that will contains permission. So our operation environment develop. Okay, so we have three unique matches instance. But there are, there is only one instance that is running. So here so we will not use the load balancer. And for the deployment settings there is deploy code deploy default all at once. So for example if I have version one and then I create version 2. So all our instance that run in my previous first version will updated all at once. And this is not the recommended one because maybe you, you will face some issues. So for more details, you can check, you can Google this. Create a deployment group. So last thing, we will create a pipeline or pipeline. So I could do could pipeline advanced default. So the recommended one is the custom location because. With default location every time you create a pipeline you will have a new packet so this so if for example if you create 100 pipeline you will have 100 packets so the uh, my advice for you is to use the custom location but for this lab i will use i will go the, with the default location next so the source will be our GitHub connect to GitHub. The branch, the master branch. Next for the build. And my first build. Next. For the code deploy project, code deploy group next. So review create pipeline. So 
So as I mentioned before, we have three stages source, the build stage, then the deploy stage. So at the first, the code pipeline will retrieve our repo our GitHub repository, then build it, and to build it, it will follow these instructions. Then deploy it. So when it will when the building is finished, we will have artifacts. These artifacts are this one, the image, then the index. And in the deployment stage, we will copy this one. We will copy our previous artifact which contains CSS folder, image folder, and index HTML file. And we'll, and we'll place it in the destination, this is the destination for HTTPD server. So the build, build successfully. Oh, there are some errors here. Okay, the problem is solved. Let me show you what what was the problem. Is that here in the build speak I forget I forgot to add this app speak .yama. because in this stage, the build stage there will be the output artifacts which will contain this CSS folder, image, index, and appspeak.yaml. And it will be the, this output of the, the build stage, it will be the input of the deploy stage. And the stage, and the deploy, the deployment stage, use the, the appspeak.yaml. So that is, was the issue, and I fixed it. So if we come back here, and we refresh, we should see our website. So this is our website. Nice. So here, if we come back here and try to, to make changes here, for example, here is the title, say, call it here, my name, right? Hit add, add, hit image, bug, fix it, say git, push, origin, master. So we push the change it. So if we come back here to our code pipeline, you can see it is triggered because there are the code pipeline saw new changes. Build stage. 